Okay, more access control, technical controls. Um, turning to uh, communications, and of course, uh, networking and telecommunications, we are, uh, you know, that gets a domain uh, all to itself. Um, but uh, no, um, and uh, take into account uh, some of these things when you are dealing with access control itself. Um, well, and, and uh, control of access to the, the communications, the networks, the uh, communications functions, whatever uh, resources uh, there may be in, in your systems in regard to that. Um, and the, uh, you know, beginning with uh, what are the transmission protocols that you are using? What type of networking are you doing? Uh, know, understand, uh, and, you know, again, uh, you know, we, we will deal uh, with more of this in uh, the uh, communications and, and networking domain, but, um, you know, be aware that the... Uh, the protocols themselves will have an impact on uh, what you what you can do in terms of access control, what you must do in terms of access control, what uh, functions are uh, what what control functions uh, are made available to you in the technology, and uh, what. Uh, Therefore, if it's not made available to you, uh, you know, if it is made available to you in uh, the protocol, how are you going to use it? But in addition, if it's not made available to you in that protocol, what do you need to do as a backstop to ensure that you are controlling access properly? Uh, what are additional tools that you need to have? Um, if the control functions, the, the uh, safeguarding and countermeasure functions are not uh, available in that protocol, uh, what do you need to add? And, uh, you know, of course, anything that you have to layer on, uh, you always have to make sure that the layers itself doesn't add uh, some kind of security vulnerability. Uh, so, I, you know, a number of aspects uh, involved in uh, something as, as simple as the choice of a transmission protocol. Um, there uh, are requirements for communications controls in the networks that we establish, um, in what we set up, what we use, uh, what requirements uh, we have in terms of building the systems and applications uh, that we are using. Um, identify uh, the users and authenticate the users uh, in the network. Um, and, and, you know, well, these days, as, as the saying goes, you know, the, the com the network is the computer, um, you know, the, the networks are absolutely integrated functions. You know, every uh, computer these days is pretty much automatically connected to the internet and so connected to the rest of the world. Um, and so, you know, how do you authenticate users? Uh, our, our businesses are doing... Uh, uh, you know, telework, our, our salespeople are out there doing remote work. And, and these days, increasingly, um, because of the uh, requirements, uh, uh, certainly being uh, pushed by the pandemic, um, if, if you want uh, employees, you have to make remote work available. And, and so people are working remotely. Uh, we have to make provisions for that, but we also have to make provisions for the proper identification and authentication of our users on networks. Um, so, uh, 
there are some controls through the, the message uh, formats in, in terms of the different protocols. Um, they, uh, you know, there are some provisions or there may be, you know, some weaknesses uh, that, again, we have to backstop with additional controls. So uh, making sure that we identify those, those areas that we ensure uh, that we know uh, what controls are required uh, and uh, what additional controls, additional technologies we may have to add to it because of the protocols that we're using. Um, record the user information, the, the actions of the user. Again, you know, identification uh, uh, requires authentication, authorization, and accountability. And so, of course, we've got to record the user actions in terms of the accountability for their actions. And identifying these areas, uh, uh, you know, it, it's, it's all part and parcel of what we have to do in terms of access control, the uh, control of people, the, the accountability, the, the identification, um, all of these things have to be uh, part of our technical controls, and if if they're not, we have to have additional technical controls to address the the missing functions and the missing areas.